The Tuna Threesome, the Tuna Three Way, or the Tuna Three Ways, whatever you want to call it. Today I'm with Dad, and we're testing which is the best tasting tuna. We've caught albacore, yellowfin, and bluefin on your beauty now, and yeah, it's been awesome for such a, a cheap boat to be catching good fish, and today I thought, why not do some sort of taste test to know which one is actually the best sashimi and the best cooked so i'm going to roll back the footage of the bluefin the albacore and the yellowfin the yellowfin is a bit of an old footage from this episode right here where i caught my first one if you want to watch that go and watch it but i'm pretty sure most of you have watched it so i'm not going to bore you i'm just going to put a, a tiny bit of footage from that so just so you know what it's like catching a yellowfin so i'll see you guys back soon enjoy that footage Yo. the game fishing superstition continues i didn't do an intro today but we've caught fish now, so I can happily do an intro without feeling like we're not going to get fish. It's absolutely howling out here. We actually brought your beauty out, and we've got a few fish in the esky in the logics. But I'm with Kai, who's oh. Jed's brother, who you see a lot. And Kai decided to come out today and brought all their rods out. So we've got a good spread, five five rods going right now. And yeah, hopefully the the wind calms down. But in the end of the day, we got fish now, so. If we go in when it's shit, it won't be too bad. I'll bring, I'll bring some big ones in. I'll bring some big ones in. Yeah. Uh, I'll right now, just get over in this corner. Oh, it's got double, double. Oh, yeah. morning already. We've only been trolling for maybe an hour, an hour and a half and in 15 minutes we've had those got hit as well. Yeah, because it busted. Yeah. What's going on dogs? Kai, Cam here. Just hooked up to an Albie. Yeah, we're gonna release it. Hooked up. Caught a shitload of these things. Starting to get quite a pest. Want to be yellowfin or bluefin.
We just hooked up. The GoPro 9 at the front didn't actually turn on. It had a real good run at the start, but it could just be now before. Not a bad one. That's a gap door. There we go. Keep, keep driving a bit. Keep driving. Oh, two, two, double! Oh, triple, we got triple. triple! That's a triple! Can we go more? <laughs> Bluefin, only a small one, but it was still sick. Heaps of fun. So I can, looks a bit weird just because we bled it, but you know, it's too late now. Yeah. Bluefin, cheers, mate. You're even of age to drink yet? Oh, <laughs> 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 First Audi on the jig, that's mad! Send him back, quick smile, see you mate. There he goes. Finally, finally, finally! <laughs> that's the way. Sounds like your lawnmower on the weekdays. I regret bringing three layers of clothes today, two layers of pants. <laughs> I'm getting hot. Oh, second gaff. There's another gaff. No, 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 I hope you enjoyed that footage. As you saw, your beauty got some nice fish on it for once. And yeah, it was an awesome day out. We Kai for the albacore and Kai for the bluefin. And then the yellowfin, most of you saw, was when I got my first one with Ryan, which was an amazing day. Anyway, I'm going to show you the fillets. The bluefin is probably the darkest. They were pretty small bluefin. They can get way bigger, up to like 100, 200 kilos, I'm pretty sure. So the ones we got were about 8 kilos, which was pretty small. The albacore is the lightest meat by far. 
can see it's, it's white. So when you think about tuna, you don't think about white meat. It's pretty cool that when you do fill it at albacore, you get white as meat, and when it's cooked, it goes even whiter. And then the yellow fin was probably the second darkest. It was a lot bigger than the other fish, so of course it's going to be darker because there's more blood, and a bit more blood is, stays in the meat. But that's, that's a very well filleted and well bled fish, and that's about the colour you want for yellow fin. So I'm down here with Dad today. It is Father's Day, so happy Father's Day, Dad. I want to welcome him to the channel. He's been in a couple of episodes, but it is Father's Day today. I'm very grateful for what you do for me and your beauty. He spends a lot of money on your beauty, probably more than me. But yeah, thanks, thanks, Dad. Thank you, Harry, and to all those other dads out there today, um, happy Father's Day. And all those dads that actually aren't fathers, but they're father figures to kids, you know, you're, you're in the same boat. So to all the dads, and have a great day, and Hopefully your kids um, spoil you and and um, and. Um... <laughs> I gave him no script. I told him to rehearse, no, rehearse what he was saying. But that's that's good enough, Evan. So you excited to try try some raw fish? I know you love your raw fish. Well, I'm not excited, but um, happy to give it a go. And a bit like the skydiving, out of my comfort zone again. But uh, great to be here, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> If you don't always talk about skydiving, I'll put it up here. Because that, that video didn't get that many views. I thought it was going to be a really good episode, but yeah. Anyway, we're gonna, I'm going to chop up all three, and we're going to try it raw with a bit of soy sauce, nothing else. And yeah, we'll do that now. So I'll chop up real thin slices for Dad. He's not the biggest fan of sashimi, but he's willing to give it a go, which is good. There's my three sashimis. You've got the blue fin at the bottom, and it actually looks like the other fin's darker, but I think it's just because it's a bigger fish. You know, it was a 40 to 50 kilo fish when the blue fin was an eight kilo fish, so it's gonna hold a lot more blood and there's a bit more risk of it staying in the meat. You've got the albacore in the middle, a lot more lighter. But yeah, blue fin, albacore, yellow fin. And yeah, now it's time for a taste test. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have one piece of each without any sauce, and then one piece with sauce. I'll try the yellow fin first without any sauce. Let's see. So it's not too bad. There's a little bit of a fishy flavor, but honestly, yeah, it's not that bad. And now the albacore, Again, not too bad. Bit of a fishy aftertaste, but not as probably not as bad as the yellow thing, actually. Very similar, but very, very, very similar. Now the blue fin. Bit of a fishy flavour, but not as strong as the yellow fin. So just then, I reckon, honestly, sashimi-wise, the albacore is the best, then the blue fin, then the yellow fin. That's just personal preference, though. I'll try a bit with soy sauce now. Again, all very similar. All I could really taste was soy sauce, but for that, I reckon the blue fin was a bit better because it probably had the best texture than the yellow fin, than the albacore. <laughs> He's shaking in his boots. <laughs> so I'm gonna give Dad all three. He's gonna try all three first, and then he'll say which he likes first, second, or third, and then I'll tell you guys what it is. But anyway, wish him luck. First one he's gonna try is the yellow fin. I don't want him to say anything till the end, so he knows, because he doesn't eat much raw fish like me. Wants to spit it out. <laughs> it's the albacore. <laughs> and I reckon he's gonna say they all taste the same, but we'll see. So it went yellow fin, albacore, blue fin. So first, second or third, Dad, did you notice any difference? Guess what? What? They all taste the same. I knew he was gonna say that. Is it, could you notice any difference whatsoever in texture or anything? Basically not. I mean, as I said, I'm not a fan of raw fish, but they look certainly edible, so I gave it a shot. Same order this time. Yellowfin, albacore, bluefin. Mm. Tastes a bit better with soy sauce, for someone who doesn't really like raw fish. And I reckon, I like raw fish, but soy sauce definitely makes it taste a lot better. Any, any comments, or they all taste well, the same? they all taste the same, but the soy, soy sauce is um, 
certainly um, makes it much more readable for me. Certainly something different on Father's Day besides socks and undies. So thank this you, is Harry. This present. This is the best present ever. <laughs> so thank you, Harry. No worries. Anyway, we'll start to cook some. I reckon Dad's going to enjoy that a bit more. And yeah, let's go. So something different for today's cook up, not just the fry pan like you usually do. We've got the camp oven. This has been in one episode, I think, way back, way back. A year and a half ago. So that's heating up a bit. I wanted to act like an oven, so it's not really fry pan there. We're gonna taste the same. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on. And it should should be really nice. So I've just thinly sliced them. I'm gonna have one piece each. It's not much, but we'll be able to taste test it the best way then. Abacore, bluefin, yellowfin. Mm. It's actually a bit hard to distinguish between the two, oh, the three, sorry, when they're cooked because they go nice and white and really light coloured. So you can see when they're cooked, bluefin, abacore, yellowfin, they actually look very similar. The abacore is still the whitest, then the bluefin, and then the yellowfin. That's nice. Definitely the best. So which one did you like the best, then the second, then the last? Probably, um, we'll just go back to front, I think three, two, one. I think um, certainly the last one had just tasted very nice, soft, easy to eat. The second one was, yeah, just nice also. And the first one was a little bit tougher, but um, look, still very edible, the whole three. So I thought they all tasted similar, but definitely the bluefin, which surprised me. I thought the albacore was going to be easy, easily the best. But yeah, bluefin for me, then albacore, then yellowfin. Bluefin was easily the best, so and probably the best texture for the sashimi as well. So yeah, it surprised me both ways. I don't think I got it either right, which I thought was going to be the best. But that's that's why it's good to be able to try them all at the same time because you know when you taste albacore one day and bluefin the next, you'll say oh albacore is better, but maybe you cooked it differently. So yeah, for me, bluefin cooked, and then abacore, then yellowfin, and I think raw, I said abacore. I don't even know what I said, but we'll be able to see. Anyway, thanks, Dad, for coming on this cooking adventure. Thank you, Harry. We'll look forward to 12 months' time. We'll do it all again. So out of his cover zone twice now, skydiving and raw fish, which is good. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A lot of fishing and kind of cool catch and cook that we did, but yeah. Cheers, guys, for coming. If you want any merch, offshoreadventures.com.au. Dad's wearing one as well. And, yeah, we'll see you next time. You. Luxury.